Hello everyone and welcome to the ANSYS tutorial. So in the today's session, we are discussing the stress analysis of simply supported beam. The problem description is compute the shear force and bending moment diagram for the beam shown. Assume rectangular cross section of 0.2 into 0.3 meter. Think smallest is 210 GPA, which is nothing but 210 into, e raise, uh, into 10 raise 3 Newton per millimeter square. And the Poisson's ratio is 0.27. The simply supported beam of 4 meter, which is having a point load exactly at the center of 20 kN, we need to calculate the shear force and bending moment diagram. So let's move to the uh, theoretical calculation. So before going to start the shear force and bending moment diagram, we must uh, calculate the reaction load uh, supported by the two reactions A and D. For the calculation purpose, we are using the Assume that Ra plus Rb equals to 20 kN. So the total load acting on the beam we have to write here. Only 20 kN acting in our case. If there is another load of 10 kN, you have to add here. But in our case, only 20 kN is uh, acting on the beam. So Ra plus Rb totally it will uh, take a load of 20 kN. So next we need to calculate the uh, bending moment at A. So for uh, calculating bending moment, you must take this direction as a negative and this direction as positive. So we are taking the moment at A. So at moment uh, at A, we, we have to calculate whatever load acting on uh, uh, before the point A. So we have two load. One is a reaction load and another one is point load. So reaction load, we don't know the value of the reaction load. So we are naming it as RB. So RB is having a distance of uh, 4 meter from um, a point so rb into 4 that is uh, positive rb into 4 because this direction is positive and this direction is negative so rb into 4 we are taking here positive and point load of 20 kN minus direction minus 20 into this 20 kN is having a distance of 2 meter from a so minus 20 into 2 meter you can see here this will become uh, 20 into 2, you can uh, change this sign by taking this side. So this will become positive. 20 into 2 equals to RB into 4. 20 into 2 is 40. RB into 4. RB equals to 4 divided by uh, 40 divided by 4. That is 10 kilonewton. We got RB as 10 kilonewton. So initially we know that RA plus RB is 20 kilonewton. If you substitute the value of RB that is 10 kilonewton, we will get RA as 10 kilonewton and RB also 10 kilonewton. Since uh, this point load is acting exactly at the center, uh, this load is equally shared by these two reactions, that is 10 kN and 10 kN. If there is a 40 kN, means it will be 20 plus 20. Since it is acting exactly at the center, if the distance varies, then this reaction load is also varies. Since it is in the center, we will get exactly equal values shared by these two reactions. Now let's move to the shear force calculation. So shear force at B is 10 kN. We know that uh, shear force is nothing but the addition of the loads. So at B we have calculated it as 10 kN. So for shear force we are taking this as negative. So minus 10 kN. At C we have to add the previous value. It's already at uh, C we have already 10 kN plus uh, addition of 10, 20 kN positive is acting at C. So minus 10 plus 20 that will become positive 10. So at C at A we have 10 kN already. There is no any extra load, but A we are having a negative 10 uh, kN, so that will become zero. So if you draw the shear force diagram, so this is negative 10 here, it will remain same at C. At C we have having uh, 20 kN point value, so it will change its sign from minus 10 to positive 10. Up to A it will remain same, and at A it will become zero. So you can observe by this diagram. The shear force is changing its sign from positive to negative. So you must know that whenever uh, the shear force changes its sign from positive to negative, the bending moment will remain maximum. So we can say that in point C, the maximum bending moment will occur. So 
Next, we'll calculate the bending moment. So bending moment at A, that is here, and bending moment at B is zero. Why? Because bending moment in case of simply supported beam uh, in the free ends is always zero because uh, the bending moment is the multiplication of load into distance. So whatever the load applied in the ends, but the distance will become zero. So anything multiplied by the zero will become zero. So always at free ends, uh, in case of simply supported beam, bending moment is always zero. So at bending moment at A and bending moment at B is zero. We need to calculate the bending moment only at C, which is maximum because of the sign change. So the bending moment at C, we have two loads. First, we need to take the positive value. So 10 into distance of 10 kilonewton from C is 2 meters. So positive 10 into 2 minus now this <coughs> point load we have to take in negative direction. <coughs> this 20 kilonewton is having a distance of 0 millimeter from the C. So 20 into 0 is 0 because this 20 kilonewton exact acting at C only. So at C to C is 0 distance. So 20 into 0. So 10 into 2 minus 20 into 0 is 20 kilonewton meter is the maximum bending moment at C. So this has to convert into Newton millimeter, it will become 20 into 10 by 6 Newton millimeter. So this is the bending moment at C point. Now let's prove it in ANSYS, move to the ANSYS software. Go to preferences, structural. Okay, preprocessor element type, add, edit, delete, add, click on beam, 2D node 188, click on OK, close this, then go to material properties, material model, structural, linear, elastic, isotropic. We have to write the Young's modulus here, that is 210, 10 raise 3, that is E3, and Poisson's ratio is 0 0.27. Click on OK, close this, then go to section, common section, beam. In section, you have to go for beam and common section. Here, you need to write breadth as 200 and height as 300. Actually, it is given in the problem in the meter. You need to write it in millimeter. Click on OK. Then go to modeling, create key points in active CS. First key point to do it in origin 0, 0, 0. Click on apply. The second key point, C point, that is having a distance of 2 meter from the end. So 2 meter, you have to write in millimeter, 2000 millimeter. Click on apply. And the third key point, that is the full length of the beam, 4000, 4 meter, that is 4000 millimeter. Click on OK. So using these three key points, you need to write, uh, draw the line here. Go to lines, straight lines. Line straight line. Select this to this. Click on OK. Again, click on straight line. Select two to three. Click on OK. Now go to meshing. That go to mesh size control. Go to size control in that manual size. Go to global. That go click on size. Here you give. 10 mm edge length. In 10 mm edge length, you have 100 division. Click on OK. Now go to mesh. Click on lines. Select pick all option. Meshing is over. To see the meshing happen, go to plot lines. You can see the meshing here, dotted lines. Now go to application of load. Go to solution, apply, structural, displacement, on key points, select the node 1, uh, key point 1, click on OK. Here, you have to select UX, UY, UZ, 
rotation x, rotation y. You need to leave only all DOF and rotation z for this first key point. Click on OK. This is the actual case for all the simply supported beam. So again, you click on key points. Select this third node. Click on OK. Here, you need to select only UY. You have to select only UY. So this is applicable for all kind of simply supported beam. So in two ends, you have to give in uh, this direction only. So in first key point, you have to select all the uh, <coughs> rotation X, rotation Y, UX, UY, UZ. Only you have to leave the all UF and rotation Z. In this end, you have to select only UI direction. So this is applicable for all type of simply supported beam. Next, you have to go for application of point load. For that, you have to go for force movement on key points select the middle key point ok then change the direction uh, as fy this is negative direction you need to give minus 20 kilo newton it is given in the problem but you need to take it in newton so 20 into 10 raise 3 i will write 20 into e3 that is nothing but 20 into 10 raise 3 newton click on ok you can see the direction y direction and is in the negative direction if you give positive this will come uh, go like this that will be become wrong uh, direction of the load so you have to give in negative direction only then the load everything is over then go to solve here current ls okay solution is done close this close this next go to general post processor here you go to element table uh, define table you need to go element table define table add here by sequence num semi ic here you need to enter 3 click on apply Again, select on by sequence number. Here you need to give 6. Click on apply. Again, go to by sequence number. After 6, you need to give 16. Click on apply. Again, by sequence num. Click on here, write 19. Okay, so 361619. Close this. <coughs> then go to plot result. Contour plot. In that go to line element result. So for shear force diagram, you need to select I jod I A I node as 6 and J node as 19. Click on OK. You can see the shear force diagram, which is exactly same as our theoretical calculation. Maximum is 20, 10,000 here and 10,000 in this direction. Uh, 10,000 uh, Newton. So we have wrote it in uh, kilonewton. So it will become 10,000 Newton. You can see here. Diagram is also same. But seeing uh, shear uh, bending moment, again click on line element result. Now select I node as 3 and J node as 16. Click on OK. You can see the bending moment here it is 20 into E raise uh, 6. It is exactly same as our theoretical calculation. And diagram is also same. So both the theoretical and ANSYS value is matched. So that's it for the today's session. Thank you.